Welcome to Wamada's Rail Training Simulator Room. This is 7K Simulators. Here currently we have eight training pods. On this tour, I will show you the pods and how they're working and the instructors working with our students who are currently in one of these pods right now. This is an excellent um, situation for training for today. It helps us to train the train operators to be better train operators and to be better prepared when they go to OJT and when they're ready for certification. The technology that we have out here, the computers, this helps us immensely with our training because you can stand in the classroom and talk about something in the old days, then you couldn't really show it to them until you got a training ball on the main line. very good because it gives them an actual real life experience of what they expect. Like I said, I can talk to them as if they're sense of control. If the operator here was losing readouts, I can say at this time you have permission to continue to the in-car marker speed command to that location and continue on. And then they can respond to me, just like a real life situation. So when they really communicate with sense, they'll sound like they know what they're talking about and they'll feel an experience. And some people feel very nervous speaking with Central because they don't want to sound like they don't know what they're talking about over the airports. Everyone is listening. So this gives them a little bit of a segue and being that their experience is not of operations like some people come from within Metro, they understand communication. So they're really learning it from the ground, they're from the beginning. So they have an idea and then we'll leave and ride the system, we let them listen to the radio so they can say, oh, okay, I did that in the simulation. I remember how that sounded. I remember the 100% repeat back. So it, it's, the, the simulation is, is a very good tool to use to give them real life experience. We will we'll monitor this and keep a record of their progress. Once we get that together, we have the trainees and the exercises. What we'll do, like this young lady here, she's in pod number seven. So that's what I'm monitoring her now. That's her here in pod number seven. And if I go here, I can see everything that she's doing. I hit monitor. My system will come up. She'll pop up there. I can have direct access to her, or I can even contact her as if I'm central control and speak to her and say, okay, you lost readouts, you have permission. Kind of, a, like I said, it's a simulation, but it gives you an idea of how the system runs without actually being in the system. I can see where she is on the line. I can see what she's doing on her console. I can see where she's moving. I can see her communicate with me. I can even see her hit the mushroom or anything like that. And then what we can do is record this information, give this information back to the student and monitor them, like see what you did here, where you might have made a mistake, let them learn from their mistakes. So when they actually get out in the real world, you know, we can't afford to have these kind of mistakes in the real world we're dealing with real life customers, but this gives them kind of a preview to what to expect when they get out here. Like I said, these, these students are brand brand new. Some of them never even written our system. So this is a good segue into what to expect when the time comes for them to go live. I think the simulation is a benefit versus not having one at all because it gives people the opportunity to learn the job versus in a real life situation. I'll give you an example. As an instructor, when I take a student to the yard for the very first week, the very first time, I have to trust them, you know, in a way that is, you know, operating in between the bump holes and the signal, this is your first time. I like how the simulation can give me the opportunity to do that. So if they do make a mistake, we can correct it right then and there where if we were in real life, they make a mistake like hit a bump post, then we have a whole other situation, set of issues, we can damage equipment, we can hurt somebody. So I like how the simulation is a benefit because it gives you the opportunity to experience the job uh, without really making a major mistake and experience the job that way. So it's just a good 
starting point, a good learning point. I, I think it kind of mimics like the, 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 the airport authorities. Most pilots go through a simulation before they ever fly a plane. And it's been proven to be beneficial to them and how, they, how well they can accomplish their job.